Hello everyone, welcome to Good Morning Tarot. Now I'd like to invite you to a tarot reading at the start of the day. Now it's a general reading and it is open to all zodiac signs. So just take what resonates with you. At the same time, it is timeless. So anytime you find yourself watching this video, that's the best time for you to see it. Okay, so let's try to see what is the main energy at the start of the day. Wow, okay, we have the sun. Beautiful. So right now, you are enjoying the present moment. You feel the support, the protection, and the loving care of the universe in your life. You feel blessed as a person. And uh, your inner child seems to be nurtured very much at this moment. So this is a very good time for you. Uh, it's uh, somehow a time for your inner child to be set free, a time for your inner child to grow. So it's a time for you to undergo transformation also. So this is a very beautiful time for you. Now let's try to see how this will unfold. Well, you will be needing some time to rest some time to nurture yourself so somehow what will happen is you will continue to spend more time on your own i think uh solitude and silence will be a very important part of your life at this time and it is also at this time where you can just hang your swords the swords can symbolize those mental preoccupations that we have uh it's as if the universe will be inviting you to let go of your anxieties and entrust them to the divine. Now there is here somehow what make uh, this is a mural or a a stained glass and it shows a person giving somebody some alms. No, it can symbolize uh, usually in the Christian faith. It can be Jesus Christ giving bread also to to the poor or the disciples giving bread to the poor so it's like the universe the uh, giving you assistance at this time so everything that you need it's as if this one this card shows you that all everything that you need the universe will provide for you so it's as if the universe right now would like you to just treat yourself to take a break maybe you've worked so hard already and the universe would like to say you deserve a break so somehow in the near future take some time just to recover uh it's part of the cycle of life there are times in our life where we have challenges there are times in our life where we encounter some difficulties but there are also times when the universe gives us an opportunity to rest and to enjoy living the present moment there will be moments also where we will be able to apply what new knowledge we've gained in those moments of silence and solitude this time as your inner child is being nurtured you will be receiving a lot of instructions or messages from the universe so this is the time for you to sort of uh, be in the receptive mode and at the same time it's time for you to cleanse yourself from whatever negative energies that you might have encountered it's time for you to take a short break to uh somehow recharge yourself gain more energy in preparation for the future challenges that might come so just enjoy this moment and uh, welcome this moment of rest it's a gift from the universe now what is the advice of the universe for you well if you just take a rest oh this is very interesting you know what yeah this is interesting i think we had a reading that is similar to this one and again i think the same set of cards was it the same set of cards i'm not sure but somehow this is similar the sun and the knight of swords okay uh anyway we shuffled the cards very well and yet the same cards come so maybe yeah this it's uh okay this is interesting so there is a reason for this now somebody will be coming your way maybe this person will be sending you a message maybe a new challenge maybe yeah after a moment of rest somebody will be rushing your way it can be this person could be giving you 
the new mission that the universe would like you to accomplish. So it can be somebody offering you maybe a new position or somebody uh, asking for your assistance or somebody who is coming your way with a good idea that they would like to share with you and they would like you to accompany them. So it can be. So somebody might be rushing towards you after this moment of rest to bring you something beautiful. And uh, yeah, it's as if the universe is already saying, well, you really take advantage of that moment of rest because somebody is in a hurry and this person might bring something that would set you on fire and uh, you will have to be working afterwards. So you can be also this one, that after you've rested, you will be on fire and then you will be move, rushing forwards towards the direction of your inspiration. So it can be your energy or somebody rushing your way and they will be requiring your services. And I think whatever you've learned in that moment of solitude and silence, in that nurturing of your inner child, you will be able to use it for them. Now, it's quite interesting. No? Uh, if I'm not mistaken, we encountered similar cards in the past. Now, in the past readings, uh, maybe there's a reason for that because we shuffle the cards regularly and yet some cards keep coming back and maybe there's a reason there. Maybe, you know how it is sometimes when some the universe would like to emphasize something and to emphasize something they either put underline or they put something to emphasize it. Sometimes one way of emphasizing something is repeating, repeating the message. So if the message are being repeated and if it resonates with you, then maybe the universe is trying to say, listen, there is an important thing behind this message. So if you resonated in the previous cards or in the previous readings, in the previous Good Morning Tarot, and again, this one re repeats itself and you realize, oh, it's similar to the previous ones. It could be that the universe is emphasizing something. The universe is trying to say, take attention, listen. Okay, so if this resonates with you and <clears throat> the previous readings resonates with you, then uh, it's the universe telling you, listen, this is important. Okay, so this is what we have for our tarot reading. Let us now go to the second part, which is the self-care tip. For our self-care tip, the message is, I make like a friendship farmer and fertilize all my easy, joyful friendships. The other ones, well, nature can decide what to do with those. <laughs> okay, so I feel that this card um, encourages us to cherish our friendships, cherish our significant relationships. And for those who are difficult, don't worry. <laughs> if the universe feels that it's detrimental to your growth, the universe will find a way to fix it. Okay, so don't worry. So when, uh, when you have difficulty with a relationship and the more you try to fix a relationship and the worse it gets, then it's time for you to kneel down and pray and say, Lord, I have a situation. I've been trying to solve it, but the more I try to solve it, the worse it gets. Can you solve it for me? That's the important thing, to recognize that we cannot solve everything. It's like the prayer, Lord, help me to identify those things that I can change and the things that I cannot change. And uh, the wisdom to know the difference. Okay, So, uh, something like that. Okay, anyway. So, uh, if you encounter certain difficult friendships or certain relationships, entrust it to the divine. You don't have to carry the cross alone. Especially when the more you try to solve it, the worse it gets. It means it's time for you to entrust it to the hands of the universe because there are certain elements in that situation that you cannot see. It can be on your part or the part of the other person or the situation itself. So when situations are getting worse and it's beyond your control, it's time for you to entrust it to the universe and forget about it. 
because you're already entrusted it in prayer. But whatever good relationship you have, cherish it because they are gifts of God in our life. Even the difficult people are gifts of love or gifts of God in our life. They allow us to grow. They teach us lessons in life. So, uh, like for example, uh, they say when, when uh, a twin flame comes into your life, the first and foremost importance of the twin flame's presence in your life is they teach us something important. And that's the important thing. If the twin flame relationship is difficult, or if the twin flame runs away, maybe they have already accomplished what you need to learn, or they have taught you already the lesson that you need to learn. So you entrust your twin flame into the presence of the divine. When they come, we need to listen. And if the relationship is difficult, we need to listen. Because oftentimes, the twin flames are given to us as a gift in order for us to learn something very important in our life. Now, whether it becomes successful no, or whether it becomes a romantic relationship, then it's also a gift. If the twin flame is just a friend or a mentor, sometimes it's also like that. They do not necessarily have to be our lifetime friendship. But we cherish one way of cherishing people that we, we love is to give them the freedom to come and go. When we are able to allow <clears throat> the people we love to come and go in our life, then we are learning to, live, to love unconditionally. Because when you love unconditionally, the person that we love don't feel burdened in the relationship. They have that sense of freedom, knowing that you are just there for them. And then they can be who they truly are when they are with you. You give them the freedom to commit mistakes. You give them the freedom also to express truly what they feel. And oftentimes, these are the friends that we cherish. Friends who allow us to feel at home. So I feel that's another way of cherishing our friendships. To be a sanctuary for the people that we care for. A refuge that they can come to when they need the help or assistance in their life's journey. So, uh, yeah, being a friendship farmer, okay, nurturing and uh, caring for the friendships that are given to us as a gift. So, that's it for today in our uh, Good Morning Tarot. I hope you were able to gain some insights and some inspirations in your present life journey. Thank you for the likes and comments you've given to the channel. Thank you for subscribing. I look forward to seeing you again soon. Until that time, may God continue to bless your ways.